Canada's geography is grand in both scale and scenery, giving locals and visitors enough adventures to, well, last a lifetime. Much of Canada's brilliant landscape can conveniently be found in the confines of its incredible national parks, offering the opportunity to get up close and personal with natural wonders, ranging from glaciers to granite peaks. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 best national parks in Canada. And just wait until you see the number one that we're going to be showing in this video, something you would have never even thought of, so make sure you watch till the end. Before we begin, you can help support our channel by becoming a member of this channel. Press the join button below. This will help us to bring you more awesome travel videos. Now let's cut to the chase. At number 10, Cape Breton Highlands National Park. Situated on the northern tip of Nova Scotia, Cape Breton Highlands National Park is often called the area where the mountains meet the sea by Canadians. The park's greatest attribute, the Cabot Trail, is the best way to take in this varied scenery. The paved road winds along towering coastal cliffs and through lush forestry that blankets the park. For an unforgettable hike, hit up the Oceanfront Skyline Trail at sunset. And next in at number 9, Kluane National Park and Reserve. If you live for hiking, then Yukon's Kluane National Park and Reserve needs to be on your bucket list. The park features more than 20 different trails and routes that range from quick half-hour hikes to multi-day treks. Multi-day, huh? Kluane is also home to 17 of Canada's 20 highest mountains, including the highest peak in the country, Mount Logan. Whether it's hiking, rafting next to glaciers on the Alsek River, or enjoying a flight-seeing excursion over Canada's largest ice field, there's an adventure activity that'll appeal to you here. At 8, it's Pacific Rim National Park Reserve. Historians will likely be pleased with a visit to Pacific Rim National Park Reserve. Multiple First Nations, such as Nu Cha Nulth, Dai O Kwiat, Sehat and Dititat, a bit of a mouthful, so let's hope I've pronounced those correctly, still inhabit and protect the area. Some offer cultural experiences like guided tours to visitors, while others are beach keepers, an ancient legacy available to help travellers navigate and stay safe along the sands. Once visitors have learned all about this British Columbia gem's cultural significance, they can take time to admire their surroundings. Think cedar groves, rocky outcrops, tide pools and beaches by hiking one of the park's many trails. At 7, it's Ayutique National Park. Located within the Arctic Circle is Ayutique National Park, one of Canada's wildest national parks. The park is not easily accessible. You have to fly to remote Ikaulwit, Nunavut, across the Hudson Strait from Quebec province, before taking another plane to one of two Inuit villages, where adventure outfitters guide you through sky-high fjords to get into the park. But once inside, you'll find breathtaking landscapes composed of granite peaks and glaciated valleys, as well as Arctic wildlife, including polar bears and Arctic foxes. At six, Kootenay National Park. If you want to experience the Canadian Rockies without the crowds, skip Banff and head just south to British Columbia's Kootenay National Park. Radium Hot Springs is a draw for visitors keen on relaxing, while the Stanley Glacier appeals to those interested in seeing the Burgess Shale fossils. You'll also find plenty of opportunities for wildlife watching, scenic drives and winter sports. No matter what you choose to do, be sure to save time for trekking the Marble Canyon Trail, which sits atop a limestone and dolomite canyon. Nice. Next, in at 5, Waterton Lakes National Park. Though it's the smallest national park in the Canadian Rockies, Waterton Lakes National Park manages to pack a lot of impressive sites within its nearly 124,800 acres. A bit bigger than my back garden, then. Situated in an unassuming corner of southwestern Alberta, unassuming, Waterton Lakes borders Montaha's Glacier National Park and offers visitors jaw-dropping views of waterfalls, mountains, wildflowers and wildlife. Can't-miss sites include the Chief Mountain Lookout, 
Where the park's mountains seemingly transition into the prairie, the Waterton Glacier International Peace Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and the paved Red Rock Parkway, which promises outstanding views of the park's highest peak, Mount Blackiston. At four, Yoho National Park. The word Yoho is an exclamation of awe in the First Nations Cree language, so perhaps we should be shouting it, Yoho! And you'll certainly be amazed by this park in British Columbia's Rocky Mountains. Highlights include Takakore Falls, one of the highest waterfalls in Canada, and the aptly named Emerald Lake, the park's largest lake. You'll also want to save time for checking out the Burgess Shale fossils, which are estimated to be more than 500 million years old. At number three, Banff National Park. No matter what activity you dream of doing, it's likely you can do it at Banff National Park. This Alberta park boasts wetlands, mountains, meadows, hot springs and pine forests, each of which provide their own unique adventures. If you visit in winter, try shushing down the Canadian Rockies at a ski resort or relieve sore muscles in the hot springs. Once the weather warms up, explore the park's lakes in a canoe or see the world beneath Lake Miniwaka's surface while scuba diving. And now at number two, Gros Morne National Park. Gros Morne National Park's geography is so special, it was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Situated on the island of Newfoundland, the park stands out for its striking fjords and the tablelands, where visitors can walk upon the exposed Earth's mantle. Gros Morne's location on the Gulf of St. Lawrence also affords access to impressive coastal scenery, which you can view along the appropriately named Coastal Trail. Meanwhile, ambitious hikers can climb to Gros Morne Mountain's summit on the trail of the same name. And finally, drumroll please, for number one, Jasper National Park. Jasper National Park is by far the best place to experience the Rocky Mountains. The largest national park in the Canadian Rockies offers endless opportunities to go hiking, biking, boating and more. Jasper also holds the unique distinction of being the world's second largest dark sky preserve, so you can expect excellent conditions for stargazing when you visit. To soak up the best of this Alberta National Park, drive down the famous Icefields Parkway, which is considered one of the most scenic drives in the world. And there you have the top 10 national parks in Canada. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. See you next time, campers.